Yeah, so I just wanted to talk about a couple things I do in Flipgrid. So I've already posted a couple of videos about how to use Flipgrid. So one thing I do is I make some sort of topic question and I ask them to answer the question, like, ¿Cuál es tu comida favorita? And then they can say, mi, mi comida favorita es, or they can say, me gusta. You can put parameters of things you want them to use. You could write out the sentence structure so they know how to say it, depending on their level of Spanish. And then, so answer the question, then make a commentary on another video. So then you can, um, you can also add a video prompt so that you can model it if you want. And then if you go to more options, like I've told you in a previous video, but just to remind you, student to student replies, this is how you turn on replies. So make sure this is turned on if you want your students to reply to each other. That way they can kind of have a back and forth conversation. Another thing you can do is you can start the conversation and you can say, hey, reply to me or make a comment, um, maybe about their likes or dislikes. And then finally, you can use feedback. They give you ideas and performance. It's on a one to five scale. You can do custom feedback. So sometimes I give them feedback and it doesn't count against their grade, but about their pronunciation or if you have a specific verb usage or vocabulary usage, and then you check off the boxes you want to use um, for your criteria, and then you can give them feedback. So when you look on their video, it gives you the opportunity to grade them one through five or whatever you make the criteria. I think it lets you go one to a hundred for each of the criteria that you pick. And then there's a box that's just blank where you write a commentary. So great job, I really like what you said, that's really interesting, I never knew that about you, etc. That's one thing I like to do. Another activity that I've done is les presento. So you have them present. I like to do this with pets, but for the kids who don't have a pet, you can offer alternatives. So they go on, they make a video. You can also do a video prompt to demonstrate this. Um, you can do it with a stuffed animal if you don't have a real animal or a picture of an animal you used to have. Um, so like I have a little dog named Remy, so I'd say les presento, and then you talk about your pet, so Remy, I would introduce Remy in that case, and then show him either live in a video, show a picture of him, so remember down here, you can choose what you want to do, you can upload an image, you can upload a video that you've pre-recorded here, or you can record a video as you're making this. So as you're making this, you're like, you know what? I'm going to grab my dog. I press record. I grab my dog. I say, here's Remy. And then I, you know, I explain whatever I want to explain in Spanish. Um, if they're really low level, you can repeat it again in English if you'd like um, to just model what you're doing. Uh, you can also add emojis or fun things. And then again, you can go down, make sure the student replies are on. If you want them to leave like a positive comment, oh, your dog is really cute. And um Remember, you can leave some keywords up here. You only get a thousand characters, but you could say um, reply with a comment. And then, so you could, oops, as you could say cute is lean though, or, or give them some adjectives that they could use to help guide a response. Or you could post a Google Doc in Google Classroom to accompany the Flipgrid. Okay, so those are just a couple of ideas with my upper levels. Obviously, I do things that are more sophisticated, possibly about a book we're reading or a piece we're reading. Um, they can give opinions and go back and forth with each other. So um, Flipgrid has been really useful that way. So hopefully this helps you guys, give you guys some ideas. I know everyone's really creative and they have different classes that are really diff interested in different things. So get creative with it. Gracias por mirar.